Section B, Shakyamuni and the Lotus Sutra. The Lotus Sutra, abbreviation of Myoho Renge Kyo, which is commonly called the Sutra of the Lotus, was expounded by Shakyamuni during his last eight years of his teaching. Shakyamuni, whose given name was Siddhartha, renounced the world at the age of 19, and after 12 years of practice, attained enlightenment at Bodh Gaya, India, when he was 30. He began his teaching in Magadava, the Deer Park with Hinayana, and continued to teach his disciples for 42 years. At that time he expounded the Lotus Sutra as being the reason for his advent into this world. In the recorded history of Buddhism, Shakyamuni was the first Buddha, but from the viewpoint of his enlightenment itself, Shakyamuni was not the true Buddha. He was but a provisional Buddha, comparable to the moon shining in reflected sunlight or the image of the moon in a pond. Shakyamuni was a great Buddha of the past whose teachings lost their validity 2,000 years after his death. Contemporary Buddhist sects who worship Shakyamuni are similar to a person who relies on last year's calendar. The name Shakyamuni literally means the sage of the Shakyas. His formal designation is Shakyamuni Buddha. Buddha means the enlightened one, and Shakyamuni is so called because he attained enlightenment after practicing austerities for 12 years from the age of 19. When Prince Siddhartha left his castle, his father, Jo Bo No, King Shudodana, ordered five monks, including Kyo Jinio, Khan Dinya, to accompany the prince. The austerities ordered in those days were so severe that some seated themselves on rocks for days on end without taking any food, engaging in meditation. Shakyamuni himself practiced such austerities for as long as 12 years without attaining enlightenment and became too exhausted to ponder the problems of life and the outlook on the world. Therefore, he broke his long fast by accepting the food offered by a young girl. This shocked his five companions, who said, Gautama, by which Shakyamuni was known, as he belonged to the Gautama clan, fell into heresy by breaking his fast. We can no longer accompany him, and thus they abandoned Shakyamuni. Shakyamuni continued to eat and sleep moderately and ponder on life. While speculating on various hard-to-solve problems, one morning he saw the planet, the Venus shine. At that very moment, he attained enlightenment. This is what Buddhism defines as the attainment of Buddhahood in an instant, Setsuna Jodo. This is the zenith of deductive oriental philosophy and is actually the enlightenment of the great universe. What was his enlightenment? The answer would be rather simple, like Columbus's egg, if I were to explain it in a few words. However, we common mortals cannot attain enlightenment even if we should try to meditate for a million years. Shakyamuni was enlightened to the fact that he had been the Buddha since the immeasurably distant past known as Goyaku Jintango. He instantly realized the eternity of life and the principle of Ichi Nen Sun Zen or the mutual possession of the Ten Worlds Jikai Gogu. Thus the practice of austerities was no longer necessary for him, thinking out a method for expounding his enlightenment. He first showed the three ways mankind should follow, leading them to show man, learning and engaku, assimilation or realization, and bosatsu, bodhisattva. Preparing them for the teaching of Lotus Sutra, he waited to reveal his enlightenment in that Supreme Sutra. He wanted to teach all the Brahminist teachers, under whom he had practiced austerities for twelve years, but finding they had passed away, he decided to teach the five old monks including Kyo Jin Nayo. The five had agreed that they would not speak even a word to Gautama who had abandoned austerities, but on seeing the dignified figure of Shakyamuni, they became his disciples. Thus, Shakyamuni came to be revered as the Buddha from that time, since the advent of the Buddha had been prophesied by the saints of Brahmanism. Many people gathered to listen to the Buddha's teaching. To them, Shakyamuni expounded Kegan Kyo, the second highest sutra next to the Lotus Sutra, which was rather beyond their understanding. The fame of Shakyamuni grew even more. 
He went on to teach the three vehicles of Shomon, learning Engaku, Realization and Bosatsu, Bodhisattva and finally to reveal the supreme vehicle of Buddhahood, Betsu by refuting these three. Thus the teaching of the Agon Sutras followed by the Kegon Sutras. The former belonged to Hinayana which comprised a great many commandments. Then came the teaching of Hoto and Hanya Sutras which belonged to provisional Mahayana. All these teachings Shakyamuni explained for 42 years. Seeing his disciples well qualified for the teaching of the Lotus Sutra, actual Mahayana, Shakyamuni taught it for eight years until he passed away at the age of 80. As for various Buddhist sects, Ritsu sect is based on Hinayana, and Jodo, Pure Land, Shingon, True Word and Zen sects derive from provisional Mahayana. However, both Hinayana and provisional Mahayana were repudiated by Shakyamuni before the expounding of the Lotus Sutra. This is why all these sects are called heretical. During the Hakke period, the introductory sutra to the Lotus Sutra came first, entitled Muryogi Kyo, Infinite Meanings Chapter, the Sutra of Infinite Meaning, followed by the 28 chapters of the Lotus Sutra. The concluding sutra was Fugan Kyo, the sutra of Bodhisattva Fugan's practice. The Lotus Sutra consists of eight volumes and 28 chapters. Including the introductory and concluding sutras, the Lotus Sutra comprises 10 volumes. Another sutra belonging to the Hakke period is Nehon Gyo, the Sutra of Nirvana, which Shakyamuni expounded just before he entered Nirvana to prove the truth of the Lotus Sutra. In order of increasing profundity, the five periods are arranged thus, Agon, Hodo, Hanya, Kegon and Hake. However, in order of expounding, they are, Kegon, Agon, Hodo, Hanya and Hake. This is Shakyamuni's way of explaining the Lotus Sutra. As is obvious from the Muryogi Kyo, Infinite Meanings Chapter and the Expedient Means Chapter of the Lotus Sutra. The objective of Shakyamuni's advent into this world was to make people attain Buddhahood through the Lotus Sutra. All the other sutras were but provisional teachings which led his disciples to the Lotus Sutra. It therefore follows that the depths of Shakyamuni's Buddhism are described in the Lotus Sutra, without which there can be no understanding of the essence of his teachings. Furthermore, the Lotus Sutra is the basis of realizing the striking difference between Shakyamuni's Buddhism and the Dai Shanans. These are the two main streams of Buddhism. The present confusion in the Buddhist world is attributable mainly to the fact that those Buddhists captivated by Shakyamuni's Lotus Sutra have failed to draw a line between these two streams of Buddhism. The 28th chapter Lotus Sutra is Shakyamuni's teaching and Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is the Dai Shanan's Buddhism. This is the essential knowledge for those who are interested in Buddhism as well as students of Buddhism.